Oh, right. So we got a Patreon member here. He says, uh, hi, I'm a Patreon member and I just have one question. I recently made a reset with my girlfriend and now I'm in charge of the relationship and she does what I ask her to. Uh, before the reset, she was complete opposite. How do I maintain this position and keep myself in charge long term? Um, and then he adds one thing too. Now she knew I was talking to other girls when we left and she is mad at me for doing it, even though I was single and she is one, she's the one who left me. She told me she wants to see my messages with this girl and she will go and text her and see. So what's up with your advice? So first and foremost, uh, you know, to stay in control long term, you just have to be balanced. Um, you have to, whatever mistakes you made before for her to leave you or for her to break up with you, you have to know what those are and don't make those same mistakes again. Guys usually know where they messed up previously. So just make sure you're not making those same mistakes. I can elaborate on what those mistakes are because, um, you know, only you know and you didn't really elaborate on what mistakes was really made uh two you know healthy anxiety and healthy anxiety is just you um staying on your purpose giving her time to miss you um you know obviously establishing respect don't tolerate any respect any disrespect you give one warning and if it continues then you separate yourself um and obviously you're on patreon so um, all those tactics and techniques are on there. Also, the reset. If you guys are not on Patreon, a reset is another technique um, after a breakup, uh, which is also good. And obviously, it helped him. It works very well. A little technique that I uh, came up with uh, to basically just reset the relationship and give it a, uh, almost like a fresh start. Now, as far as her being upset with you talking to other women because she broke up with you, this is something you don't entertain. I say don't entertain it. I say don't give it any energy. Uh, don't feel bad about it because once she broke up with you, that is the consequences when you leave somebody. When you leave somebody and break up with them, you have to expect that they're gonna talk to other people, they're gonna see other people. And as far as her asking to see your phone, you say absolutely no. No, because honestly, um, that's, that's just a boundary that I have, like, you know, establishing respect is basically just setting boundaries that's all respect is is to set boundaries when you set boundaries with people just like anybody can set boundaries men or women um you want to make sure your boundaries aren't crossed um uh i'm not sure if you guys are back officially but you should set new boundaries i'm not big on people going in my phone or going through my phone um especially if there's no reason not to trust me <laughs> So especially if you never had that dynamic where she shouldn't trust you, then that shouldn't be a thing. That's one. Two, as far as seeing the other girl's messages, no. I would say absolutely no because you broke up with me. And honestly, when I was doing that, um, we were single. And what I did while I was single is honestly none of your business. Simple. Um, if she doesn't like that, so be it. She'll get over it. If she wants to leave you for that, then so be it. But chances are she's not going to do that because there's still a lot of things that she hasn't come to terms with. She wants to know who you were texting. She wants to know what was said. No. And, and this, is, and this is one way that guys start to be controlled, you know, letting her do whatever she wants and go through your phone, this and that and the third, you know, especially if, you know, you're not doing it to her. But then on playing devil's advocate, you know, if you are going through her phone, then it's only fair that you let her go through yours, you know, so... You just want to take everything that I said into consideration, um, work on the mistakes that you made before, and just make sure you're studying so you don't make the same mistakes. And, uh, you know, just take all those things into consideration and um, to maintain it. Uh, you know, the relationship course is coming. I'm actually working on it right now on my laptop. But um, in the meantime, just study Patreon. There's tons and tons of knowledge on there. It's almost like a library. And just about everything that's on the relationship course will be on patreon only problem is you have years worth of stuff on patreon now and there's just a lot of different topics and sections and you know the relationship course is going to be more in chronological order so yeah that's pretty much that um if you want more information i would advise reaching out for a call because i don't know exactly everything that was going on um but yeah